So today, I got this Wacom one. Um, I actually got this from eBay because they were actually having as a um, refurb officially from Wacom. So let's take a look at this one. Um, this actually comes in a, I think it's a retail box. So everything seems pretty okay. I don't have the knife, so I'll just use the scissor to break the seal. Let's open this one. What is it? I think it's this way. All right. Let's open this one up. As we can see, we do have seems like official ones. I do own the other um, Wacom tablets, Cintiq, Intius Pro, Medium, and the old bamboo ones. But oh, look at this. There's like where this been before oh looks pretty dirty okay but we'll see i mean it's a refurb from again official wacom so we'll see how this one actually handles in terms of the actual quality let's take a look at this um first of all i think i just touched it so there's a fingerprint but just from the looking at it i don't really see any of like you know the cracks or anything else Looks pretty good so far. Take a look at the, the back. Um, the kickstand works perfectly fine. Cool. So we'll put that aside. And what's in here? We do have Wacom Pen. It's not clicking, it's working fine too. And we do have some extra accessories. You know, how we can actually use it. And there is, seems like, a pen nip change behind it oh there you go yes as you can see from here we do have the hole and we can actually change a pen nib cool all right i'll put this one aside too okay. we have the plugins and all the other cordings right here too I'm just going to use this one later. And is this everything? Oh, there it is. The big one. There's a big daddy here. All right. Let's push to the side. And we have USB A type, USB C type. And on the other hand, we have HDMI and USB A. We'll hook that to the computer. I'm guessing this one connects to. This part of it, and this I'll connect it to the. There you go. The C type port right there. there and then I have the computer ready. So this one actually goes to HDMI, uh, USB A. There you go. There's a light calibration here, 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 from corner to corner. Cool, I think it's working pretty well. The pen itself, um, there's only one click. Um, usually if you use the Pro Pen or Pro Pen 2, there's left and right. So you can actually set two, but on this one, there's only, it seems like there's only one modifier. And since I've used the Photoshop a lot for the digital painting, it's going to be the left alt. There you go. Good on you later for that. Let's see how this one works. And it seems like color is picking up. Cool. Let's see. Let's take a look at the brush. Which brush am I selecting? Let's go with some. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to compare with like Cintiq um, 1624 or um, other tablets, but this does like. If you've been using the high-end ones, this does feel like, okay, like, it feels a little bit awkward. All right, let's take a look at this one, too. Yeah, it does feel a little bit awkward. Let's go with the, something with... But so far, I think as a refurb, I think it's working fine. I think I got this one for, like, um, $134 on eBay. It does come with everything. Um, so honestly, if you're um, 
beginner artist or starting image force um this definitely looks like a pretty good deal and yeah it does feel a little bit it definitely needs like learning curve a little bit if you came from the high end but yeah so far it's working fine if you like hit that like and subscribe and we'll come back with the other review next time bye bye